Welcome to a demonstration of how Plotora can integrate with GitLab to bring in build information as well as orchestrate deployments. And when we take a look at the value cycle to deliver software, it's going to continually go around the circle where I have an idea that's being tracked in one set of tools. I have my developer tools where I'm doing my, my coding and building. I have my continuous testing tools that are integrated to my CI process, continuous delivery tools, delivering software to environments and then ultimately delivering that software to production so customers can gain value. The focus of this demonstration is going to be how Plutora can integrate with GitLab to bring in build information from the CI process and also integrate with GitLab to orchestrate the delivery of code to environments. The benefit of integrating with the CI CD tools are kind of boiled down here. By bringing in build information, we can track the progress of the development team. We can also provide a workflow for approval of deployments to environments. We can also orchestrate the delivery of that software to those environments to avoid any manual mistakes and track the versions of the applications on all the environments to ensure uh, there are valid test results. So let's take a look. So if I come into Plutora, what I've done is I've configured a system on Plutora. The name of this system or application is called Plutora Master Test. I've also created an instance of this system, or we call it an environment an application instance. If I take a look at that, it's Plutora Master Test on SIT. So typically you have multiples of these. I just have one application instance here. We take a look at this. You see here's the environment name. Uh, what build is currently deployed there, and also there's a URL. Okay, this is an actual website, and right now it just says Hello Universe. If I go over to my GitLab, you'll see I've got a project called Plutora Master Test. It's a repo, different files. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this website. So I'm going to branch by creating a new branch, and I'm going to call it Web Site Update. These are all the different files in the repo and modify the index.js to edit this. And I'm going to change that hello universe to hello world. And I want to commit these. Uh, to merge this back into master, I create a merge request. I'll just leave it blank there. And I'm going to merge when pipeline succeeds. So GitLab is also a CICD tool. And when I do a commit, it automatically detects that and does the build and a test. So if I actually come here to CICD, you will see here that I'm now running a pipeline. Uh, my pipeline has a, a build stage, uh, which is running, and a test stage, which has been created. So if I go back to Plutora, you'll see I have a job in the integration hub called GitLab to Plutora Master. And this is going to be watching that repo and orchestrating deployments. I come over to my builds entity. You'll see that uh, Plutora picked up uh, that build that we just did. And now I want to orchestrate the deployment of that build. We do that using a test environment change request. Hey, I want to deploy a new website. So I have a test environment change request of type GitLab deployment. I'm waiting it for it to be approved. The integration will detect that I have an approved test environment change request and it will move this code um, over to this environment. And the ultimate test, if I come back to that homepage and you see now it says, Hello world. So there you go. Uh, that is an integration between Plutora and GitLab uh, to understand builds and to orchestrate uh, deployments.